Who you want to win? I want, yeah, I want the Rams to win. So that way, it's a game of significance tonight, right? Then Detroit has a chance. You love their coach too, so it'd be good. Bears clinch the number one pick. Huh? Bears clinch the number oh, one no, pick. Oh no, we went for it today. <laughs> Let me tell you, my Bears boy, we were not winning tonight. I'm going to just say that up front. No way. Doc, just what did you make of James's performances overall? He was terrific. Uh, again, we keep talking about pace, and tonight was we played really quick, really fast throughout the game. Uh, kept the floor space, kept going downhill, kept making plays, advanced the ball. And the only way you can do that is with stops, obviously, in the first half we got those. It looks like the two-man game between him and Montrez looks like they were in sync. Like Yeah, I mean, Trez has hands, and, and James knows it. Um, they were really helping with Trez on the pick and rolls. We had shooting behind him. So, uh, yeah, it was great. But overall, it was a good performance. I mean, look at Paul Reed, double double. Good team performance. Yeah, yeah. Matisse, yeah. Had every, six steals. Matisse uh, with the steals. Um, you know, just literally every single guy that stepped on the floor. Daniel House comes in late, makes two threes. You know, it just tells you how deep you are. It it really does. And uh, guys are buying into their roles. I mean, you know, like Paul Reed, really happy because I thought he got lost a little bit out of his role, wanted to do more, wanted to do too much, and it got him in trouble as a player. And now he's back to doing what he does, you know, being the uh, guy that rebounds, runs the floor, set picks, defends. And good things happen for you when you do that. And tonight's a great example of that. Uh, Tyrese looked, looked like he's continuing to just like take steps forward in terms of getting his burst back. Just what are you seeing? Say, yeah. Um, I mean, that was the fastest he's played tonight. Um, he had four or five bursts to the rim late. I thought the end of the third quarter was huge because they cut it to like 12 and we got it back to 20. And a lot of that was from his, his pace, his, his attacks. Doc, does when uh, Montrez plays like this, does it make you kind of consider sometimes going with him in the small ball starting lineup? No, I mean, it depends on who we're playing, you know. So um, I would rather play Joel all the time, <laughs> you know, and he just play. Uh, but it does. I mean, the, the fact that you have a Trez and, and other guys, it allows us to play different lineups and at least consider it for sure. All right, guys. That's it. Thanks, we have, we, we have a flight. Last one, last one, real quick. That'd be a good one. <laughs> <laughs>